Want to see something cool? I've got a machine that goes wee! But at the moment, it's as limp as backstage at a Jordan Peterson rally. If we hang a couple electromagnets like dingleberries out on the rim and smack them around with some pesky pixies, we have our field windings. Then we connect another supply to the pair of coils in the middle, the armature windings. When we turn on the power, the opposite poles of the magnets attract each other and we get a spin on our shaft. We call that my Tuesday night torque. Now we have a problem though, because our shaft only makes a half turn and stops. This isn't a motor, it's a solenoid. We've been here before. To make the next half turn, we have to reverse the polarity on either the field or armature windings. We can do that manually, but this is like playing with a partner that has no sense of rhythm. What do you mean all the white women are testing it out? We need a way to put steady direct current in and switch our polarity in time with the shaft position. If we do that, the magnets can always be the right polarity at the right time, and our fields, much like myself, can be reasonably attractive yet perpetually unsatisfied. That's why we have the commutator. This is an insulated collar on the shaft. Does it vibrate? Wrapped in sectional conductors connected to the rotor windings. We place a set of wipers here, acting as brushes, and now we have a rotational switch that's locked in phase with the shaft at any speed. That controls the polarity of the electromagnetic fields. And that's how we get an alternating magnetic field from a direct current drive. And that's pretty cool. 